on, on that, you sort of work backwards and all of a sudden you get this other relationship with the lens that we see an awful lot of, especially in cinematography, is a 28. Because if you put a 28 on a Super 35 camera, it's about 40. So you see 28 mils are used an enormous amount in, in cinematography. With the actual 40 mil though, um, I believe there was a really famous cinematographer who shot The Godfather mainly on 40 mil. I think Chinatown was done on 40 mil. Gordon, somebody. Gordon Ellis? Anyway, and I think recently um, 1917 was shot on 40. But that was done in an interesting way because that was shot on Arri large format, which is like a large format camera. And obviously that has like the reverse crop. So uh, an Arri large format, an Arri 65, has a sort of crop, reverse crop of 0.69. So that makes shooting a 40 on large for or medium format, as it were, a 28. So you see there's this really interesting link between the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you um, a couple of photos I took. I've got a, a variety of, of lenses and stuff. I'm going to look through a couple and we'll just sort of see what, you know, you can see the sort of difference. Okay, so, okay, so this first one, a shot of a load of Pokemon on the table. This is bang on a 43 millimeter uh, shot on um, a Pentax K1 camera. And fundamentally you can see this is literally what I was looking at. When I lift my head up, excluding viewfinder magnification, literally that's what it looked like to me. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you shoot it on a 50. And that's not quite right, is it? That's sort of a bit closer. It's not really reality in many ways and then if you look at it on a 35 same shot much wider much more i didn't see that as such i'm looking at the bit in the middle